Right, this is Sam Sterling here from PrimaryMazMadeEasy.com and I'm going to do a quick video with regards to division and in particular short division. Um, I will be doing a video with regards to long division a bit later on. But this one, um, as I said, we're just going to look at short division. So division, there's two questions I could always try to do with uh, success criteria. Two things just to think about when you're doing the question. First thing is, how many times does it fit in? And the second question is, what's left over? So if you keep asking yourself these two questions, it will help you get through the, the question a lot quicker and keep you, give you a focus so that you can complete the question without any troubles at all. So, as I said, first question, how many times does it fit in? Second question, what's left over? The one thing I would say before you start division is that you need to know your times tables very well. If you don't know it, there is a way you can sort of teach it because you can just use numbers that you know the times tables for, for example the fives, which I'm going to do um, initially. But times tables really, really help you speed up your speed up the pace that you can do your short division. So, how many times does it fit in? What's left over? Let's have a go. So I'll just get another board. So say we've got 925 divided by 5. This is a good one to give to children because um, it's easy for you to f figure out how many sides are going to go into a number exactly because the number will always, if it ends in 0, 5, the 5 will fit in exactly. And also with the children, it gets them that process of how many times does it fit in what's left over. Now, it's the old school bus stop method, the one I learned at school, and I th feel like it's the shortest and easiest one. So, we've got a bus stop. Underneath the bus stop goes the first number, so we put 9. Two, five. So 925 and then 5 goes at the front. So again, question number 1. How many times does it fit in? So we need to work out how many times does 5 fit into 9? And we know our 5 times tables. 5, 10, 10 too many. So it fits in just the once. Then what's, le what's left over from that? So what's left over from the 1 times 5, which is 5? There is 4. So carry the 4 over. Then we're going to do 5 into 4 and 2, so these two numbers are connected, so it becomes 42. So 5 into 42, so it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 is too many, so it's 8. So we put our 8 above here, and then the second question, what's left over? So we know that 8 times 5 is 40, so from 42 there'd be 2 left over. And finally, 5 into 25. And again, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So it fits in five times, and it's exactly 25, so there's nothing left over. So put the 5 up here. Let's try it with a different number. So say we've got... Uh, let's do a 4. So let's do 624 divided by 4. Okay, so again, bus stop. Put the big number underneath the bus stop with the first number and then divide that by 4. So the 4 goes at the front. Again, your two questions how many times does it fit in? 4 fits into 6 once, 4. With 2 left over, so carry my 2. Then again, uh, how many times does 4 fit into 22? So we need to know our 4 times table. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 is too many. So it fits in 5 times. Let's put the 5. Then carry the 2 which is left over. And then finally, 4 into 24. So how many times does 4 fit into 24? So 4, four 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Fits in exactly 6 times. So the answer is 156. Let's do one more. I will put set it out. I'll do a five because I think it's just good to get the process. And then if you want to pause it and see if you can do it. So uh, let's do 1,295 divided by five. So the way you'll set it out, I will share a bus stop. First number goes underneath the bus stop. Two, I'll rub that out. Do, do, do. 1, 2, 9, 5. First number goes at the front. Remember your two questions, which are 
how many times does it fit in and what's left over and what's left over always gets carried so if you want to pause get a piece of paper have a go okay so let's work through it so five how many times does five fit into one it doesn't fit in it doesn't zero times but there's the one left over so we carry that across so now it's how many times does five fit into twelve and it's five ten so it fits in twice and there's two left over then five into twenty nine five ten fifteen twenty twenty five uh, thirty is too many so it fits in the five times so five times twenty five is twenty five uh, five times five is twenty five so from twenty nine there's four left over and then the final one five into forty five Gives me 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And that fits in exactly 9 times. So my answer is 259. So hopefully you can start to see the importance of those times tables. I have a couple of times tables videos um, on the website if you want to have a look at those as well. That will really help you out. But if you have any questions, you can contact me at primarymilesmadeeasy.com. Thank you.